Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome to Quick Tips. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today we're going to be talking about tempo. How slow should you go? Well, when it comes to tempo, this is something that often gets overlooked in a lot of training programs. And before we get into the specifics, we first need to discuss the four different phases of each lift. First, you're going to have the eccentric or the lowering phase. One thing worth noting with regard to the eccentric phase is that you are approximately 30% stronger eccentrically than you are concentrically. This is why it would be beneficial to do slower movements on the way down. And also, when you perform slower eccentric contractions, this is gonna stimulate the production of IGF-1 or your insulin growth factor factor, which is going to be better for things like strength and hypertrophy. Next, we have the pause at the bottom position. With regard to the bottom position, a couple things worth noting is when you pause for one second, that is going to eliminate roughly 50% of the elastic energy stored in the muscle tendon, which is going to make it a lot harder to lift. If you pause for two seconds, that's going to eliminate roughly 80% of the elastic energy stored in the muscle tendon. And if you end up resting for four or more seconds in the bottom position, that is going to eliminate virtually all of the elastic energy stored in the muscle tendon. So if your goal is strength, it will be beneficial to pause at the bottom position of the lift. Next, we have the concentric portion or the lifting phase. With regard to the lifting phase, if you ever see an X in a tempo prescription, that means you are performing it explosively. And if you ever see an X, this is gonna be great if you are trying to develop fast twitch muscle fibers or your phasic muscles. If you are ever training something like your slow twitch or tonic muscles, those are gonna be better responding to slower movements on the concentric phase. And then lastly, we have the pause at the top portion of the lift. At the top portion of the lift, if you end up doing a pause, this is going to be an advantageous position to stop because it's going to allow you a little bit of time to rest. So if your goal is absolute strength or hypertrophy, it would be terrific to incorporate some pauses at the top portion of the lift. Now, we're gonna get into some specifics with regard to tempo, with regard to your goal. Depending on your goal, that's gonna dictate the tempo that you are performing. If your goal is to increase your relative strength, then for relative strength, ideally, you really wanna focus on slow eccentric movements and you wanna pause at the bottom portion of the lift. Whereas if you are focusing on something like absolute strength, meaning you want to get a little bit stronger and improve your musculature a little bit more, then you still wanna focus on the eccentric portion, but you also wanna pause at the top portion of the lift, that way you can allow yourself some time to recover. Then, let's say you are focusing on hypertrophy, meaning you just wanna pack on as much muscle as possible. Anywhere from a two to one ratio to a four to one ratio of eccentric to concentric is going to be beneficial. And you don't wanna pause at the top or bottom because you want to maintain tension on the muscle the entire time to accumulate time under tension. If your goal is strength endurance, meaning you want to improve your cardiovascular fitness or the muscular endurance in your muscles, then anywhere from a one-to-one -one ratio to a two-to-one ratio is going to be beneficial between eccentric to concentric. And then if your goal is to improve your posture, then you're either going to perform one static hold or you are going to perform fast repetitions for time under tension. So one repetition per second would be what you were doing if you were doing something like a rhomboid exercise or any type of postural correction exercise. If you are a beginner, you want to stick to those general guidelines and then as you become more advanced, you can break away from that mold. But next week, we are going to be getting into time under tension. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head.